On October 21, 2024, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin announced during his visit to Ukraine that the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD missile system has been deployed to Israel, although its operational status remains unconfirmed. This decision follows a series of aggressive actions in the region, particularly Iran's launch of approximately 200 ballistic missiles toward Israel earlier this month, which was perceived as a retaliatory measure for recent Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah leaders in Lebanon and the assassination of a Hamas leader in Tehran. The THAAD system, which is part of the U.S. military's layered air defense network, significantly enhances Israel's existing missile defense capabilities. Designed to intercept short-dash, medium-dash and long-range ballistic missiles at altitudes of up to 150 km and distances of 150 to 200 km, THAAD operates through a unique hit-to-kill technology that destroys incoming warheads using kinetic energy, either within or outside the atmosphere. The system includes eight missiles, N and slash TPY-2 radar for tracking targets, and a command and control center to coordinate operations. Developed by Lockheed Martin, THAAD was first deployed in 2008 and has since been integrated into the air defense strategies of several U.S. allies, including Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Germany, and Japan. Its high mobility and ability to intercept threats at significant altitudes make it crucial for protecting military assets, infrastructure, and civilian populations from ballistic missile threats. Reports from Israeli sources suggest that the THAAD system is already operational, with as many as three batteries currently deployed. This development comes amid heightened concerns over possible Iranian retaliation, which could provoke an Israeli military response. During his remarks, Austin underscored the necessity of de-escalating tensions while reaffirming the U.S. commitment to meet Israel's defense needs. He noted ongoing diplomatic efforts aimed at reducing hostilities between Iran and Israel, but emphasized that any military actions would ultimately be determined by Israel itself. The Pentagon has previously confirmed the arrival of an advanced team and essential components necessary for the THAAD system's operation in Israel, with around 100 U.S. personnel currently on the ground, signaling a more active U.S. defense posture in the region. This deployment marks a significant shift in U.S. involvement, potentially putting American forces at greater risk should conflicts escalate. Developed in the 1990s and operational since 2008, the THAAD system comprises truck-mounted launchers, radar systems, and fire control components. Each battery consists of six launchers, each capable of carrying eight interceptors. The strategic deployment of THAAD to Israel highlights the continued U.S. commitment to bolster Israel's defense capabilities amid increasing missile threats from Iran. The Pentagon has indicated that the THAAD system will soon be fully operational, providing a robust defense mechanism for Israeli airspace. Simultaneously, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Austin have urged Israeli officials to improve humanitarian conditions in Gaza. The U.S. has clarified that ongoing military support is contingent upon Israel's substantial efforts to address the humanitarian crisis. Following this pressure, Israel has facilitated the entry of aid trucks into Gaza. As the situation evolves, the deployment of the THAAD missile system not only serves as a deterrent against missile threats, but also reinforces the U.S. commitment to Israel's security amidst a complex geopolitical landscape.